Hey guys, I just wanted to give a quick update on our mummy berry situation that I spoke about in a couple videos back. Five things that will destroy a blueberry bush. So we are in our blueberry field now and just going through the climax bushes here where we've had over the past year we've struggled with uh, mummy berry and it's a fungus that has a terrible life cycle it just continues each and every year and we've tried to mitigate the problem by adding eight to nine inches of mulch between the bushes and also we've put landscape fabric down on all our rows and We've really pruned heavy, and we've kept it really clean under the bushes here. But, in spite of that, we still have mummy berry. And let me show you what it looks like here. You can see these berries. See, let's see, let me find right. You can see it here. I get my finger right down there to it, there. And just above that, you can see how that wrinkles. And watch this, watch how easy this berry just comes right off the bush, it just falls off. You didn't have to, I mean, if you just touch it, they will fall. See how those are starting to wrinkle? And if I left them on the bush, they would eventually just turn completely white. You can tell it's already started to, to mummify. Here's a good one right here. And right there, you see how that one has just completely shriveled up. There you go. So this is what we've been dealing with for the past five years. Now, fortunately, it doesn't appear to be quite as bad this year. Last year, we lost probably 50% of the berries. This year, it looks to be slightly less than that. There's another one. And what happens is, these will fall on the ground, as you can see right here, maybe. Let's see if you can see that one on the ground here. See it there? That's, this is what happens. So they fall, and then as they go through the summer and winter, and they, they'll last through the early part of the spring, they will create spores that will shoot up, uh, spores up onto the leaf buds and we'll start this cycle over and over again. Now you can spray a fungicide on that that will help, but we don't spray our bushes here. And so far it's not on all the bushes very much, but well, here's one here. You could just shake the bush and hundreds of berries would fall from the bush. So I'm finding quite a bit and it usually will start about the time they're ready to ripen anyway it's very disappointing when you have such a beautiful full bush and then half your berries just fall off it's mainly just on our climax bushes we have three rows of climax and so it's not a total loss for us on the farm i don't know why it doesn't affect any of the other bushes uh, we've got premier tiff blue powder blue and it just doesn't affect those uh, it's mainly the climax so as these tend to die for whatever reason we're just replacing them with uh, Premier because they ripen pretty much at the same time within a week of each other I think we're better off this year than we were last year so maybe the mulch and the landscape fabric has helped you're just trying to prevent the spores from releasing and reinfecting the bushes. So if you can stop that, you would think you would stop the spread of it. I don't know, maybe I didn't get it out quick enough this year before the spores were released. There's another. So I've come out last two mornings. I've really noticed it the last two days because berries are starting to ripen. And you can see this berry here Let's see, and you can see that. Now that's gonna be fine. See, that one's not, not infected at all. And it will be ripe here in another two or three days and we'll be fine. But then right next to it, here's one here that we've got that's mummified. We got three here. I don't know, 
I was hoping we had resolved the problem, but it appears we have not. So these here are perfectly fine. They're ripe. That one right there is actually ripe. It'll be ready to eat tomorrow probably. But yeah, I don't know. Somewhat disappointing, but like I say, it looks like it's helped some. So some is better than none. And everything is so full this year. Last year we also got hit by a late frost, which knocked out about 20% of the berries. So between the mummy berries and the late frost, it really hurt the climax. Hey, let me know in the comments down below if you guys struggle with mummy berry and maybe what you've done to rectify the problem or if you're struggling with some other types of disease that you've noticed on your blueberry bushes. Guys, thank you for watching this video and I appreciate you taking this walk and journey along with me. And if you enjoy this type of content, how about give me a thumbs up and uh, I'll continue to uh, make these. And until next time, keep on farming.